Hi. Hello. Uh, uh, you may have noticed that we were doing something. Don't worry about it. Yeah. We, we're, we're, I was just doing what I was trained to do. Yeah, and I was just having a fun time. You notice we're, we're in an interesting location. It's my backyard. <laughs> Nick, are you Part in the it. sun? Uh, yeah, but it's fine. Are you sure? Yeah, it'll be. I can just be right here. Haha, and then I'm not as much in the just sun. Just scoot up more. Ah, it's, uh, just scoot over to the wall. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Okay. It's all good, eh? It's all good in the hood. Yeah, we're having a pretty uh, interesting good time today. Yeah, chilling. As you can see, we're just playing with the kids. Yeah, and then, uh, you know, you know so doing it right for the new year. Yeah, but enough of that. those little fucking pieces of shit. Caesar, how's your morning going? Uh, my morning. Not too terrible. I think I'm just going to hold mine because my jacket just keeps flopping over. Right. I'm like, all right, I'm just going to hold you. mine. But uh, <clears throat> I'm doing pretty good. Not too bad. Uh, I got some decent sleep last night. Woke up, had breakfast, and came here. Sounds like a pretty decent morning. How about I, you? I, I, I have myself not at breakfast. I, mean, I did I woke up, did a little, little bit of editing and some shit, did a little, little workout. It was pretty nice. I thought about, you know, see, one of my favorite things to eat when, Pussy. when whether I'm high or not is, you know, uh, as well as that. Oh, my little dude. Little is, dude. Is, 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 you know, peanut butter and jelly is great, right? Why are you talking so quiet? But I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, you know just... We'll move out of the fucking sun. No, because the neighbors. <laughs> oh, well, fuck them. Yeah, exactly. But you know, one of the things, that, one, uh, something that's delicious, classic, is a peanut butter and jelly, right? Right. I love them. What's even better than that? Uh, if you get two toaster strudels and then you cook them the right way and then you put peanut butter and jelly on that and the frosting in the middle. I mean, true. But, but that's just less than that is uh, uh, marshmallow uh, fluff toasted peanut butter and jelly toast the bread first right you toast the bread get, you get i it, always toast the bread you, you get it well see that that's a tech not everyone learns see i was just you know when i was making peanut butter and jellies myself you know just you know, you i mean sure sometimes jelly, but, 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 but. I, I just didn't think like i could toast this shit because here's the thing you toast the bread you, you toast it a little bit more than you like because you want it hot because when then you put the peanut butter on first so the peanut butter starts to melt a little bit not right. too much peanut butter, though, because it no, melts, no, no. it spreads a lot. Exactly, yeah. You want to get a decent amount, and then, and then you, right. you get the jelly on, put them together, and then you get that nice nice little crunch. You don't want to toast it too much, and it'll be a little bit, little bit too crunchy, unless, unless you want that, you know? If you're into the crunch. Well, That's he- why I get peanut butter chunky. I fucking love oh, chunky yeah, peanut butter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And here's the step above that, right? You get you get uh, no sugar. Uh, you get sugar-free uh, Schmucker's jelly, strawberry jelly, because that's really fucking good exactly but more along in the vein of what you were saying there with the toaster strudel what, what my version is i get two frozen waffles and i do uh, those but those peanut fucking, butter yeah but and those, you toast those to- toast those then use those Eggos? As the pieces of bread Eggos? Yeah, whatever the fuck what you kind got. of blueberry whatever the fuck you got whatever you know, just, just, just as long as it's a waffle you know it's good shit it's fucking it makes you feel yeah I, uh, uh, don't uh my bad. What were you gonna say? Oh, wait. It just makes me feel like like a like a like a child, and, and it's it's good. I, I'm just gonna hold this. I guess makes you feel, it makes you feel feel good and fat and nice. It's very comforting. It's a comfort food. That toasted it, peanut butter and jelly with Eggo waffles. Yeah. What I was saying earlier about the toaster strudel, I've never done that, but that just came to my mind. I'm like, fuck, that sounds good, but that's that's way that's, too much sugar. As soon as you get old, you're gonna try that shit. Fuck no. I have you two should. toaster strudels. But no, it's too much sugar. Nah, it'll be fine. No, just don't, just don't put the jump with the the, the 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 icing. Then what's the point? Well, you still got what's the, the you point? still got the filling Nick, of the strudel. But I said that you put the frosting. Well, put a little in icing. There. No, but like I'm, half not the packet. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it's it. Only half the packet. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I had a good breakfast. I, I had a little bit of sugar, some fruit snacks, but hey, it's okay. And then I had my vitamins and all that shit. Yeah, every, we, we were telling me earlier we had for breakfast. Everything before that was great. He says, yeah, I had a just piece of toast. So, like, all right, cool. With, piece with, of with, toast? Some, with, with some hummus on it. I was like, all right, all right. Well, yeah, whatever. it was spread and, on top. Yeah, it was hummus. Is weird. And then you said salmon. Yeah, how's that weird? Well, I, I don't know. Cause People I don't, eat pita uh, chips and bread with fucking hummus. Well, yeah, but I just, I just don't associate hummus with breakfast. That was that, that was the thing oh, that caught well, me why not? Oh, hummus it's light. Sorry, yeah, it's just chickpeas, you know? Very, very true. Yeah. And, but it's good for but, you. But then, but then you topped it off with the salmon, and I was like, oh, no, that's, that's, there it is. No, that's, I didn't put it on the salmon. What? Well, well, you didn't put the salmon? Well, you just ate it with it, but, you know, you yeah, ate, ate it with together, it. so. No, because usually for breakfast, I like having a piece of toast with hummus on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I feel. Yeah, but yeah. then today, I wanted a little more, so I'm like, all right, I'll have a, I'll have a, it was like Alaskan salmon, so it's like a small fucking yeah, piece of yeah, salmon. Yeah, yeah, you had some salmon, that's a fucking, well, good. that's a good-ass fucking meal right there. That's, then, you, you'd pay, someone would pay fucking... Fifteen dollars for that at a fucking restaurant. Some some schmuck, some idiot, some Neanderthal. You no. fuck no. But yeah. me and my grandma, some guy who was fucking high class and shit. It's like, yeah, give me uh, the nice spread of hummus with that pesto and a nice. La- last time, last time Marjorie was here, we went to this restaurant called Trio, and I ordered the fucking um. What'd you order? 
I think it was. I think it was Alaskan salmon. It was like a nice. It was a nice piece of salmon with like some. I think it was. Um, I think it was. Uh, it was cashews. Some nice crumbled cashews on it over like. Nice. Um, it was like a nice sauce and like. It was like a light, light, just like drizzle on it and some like. Uh, I think it was like cauliflower mashed potatoes and some other vegetables and shit. There's nice. mushrooms in there and it was good. It ew, it was fucking great. I fucking I love me some some salmon, dude. Fish is great. I love salmon. I'm not a big fan of tilapia. Cod's I've never, okay. I've never had tilapia. Yellowtail's good. Uh, if it's cooked well, if it's too, well, if it's if it's too uh well done, then it's just gonna be fucking rubber. But uh, what else? Uh, I like uh, what the fuck? Uh, is yellowtail the one? There's a fish. I remember when I was fishing when I was little. And tuna. There, there we go. I think it might have been yellowtail. It's like a tiny one, right? It's like a tiny one. It's like a river fish, or is that like a sea? Oh, uh, yellowtail. Yeah, I don't know. Well, the point the point is, there was like this little river, right? With a little fish in it, and we get these fish, right? And they had an actual name, but I forget like the slang name for them. But the slang name for them was something related to piss, because when you would like squeeze like a little bit, like a, a specific part of them, they would start pissing out of their whatever their their, oh. their fish hole was. Yeah, you could just make them piss, and it was you know, I forget what kind of fish they're called. I, th- I feel like it was yellowtail, but I I don't know. It was probably some other shit that I don't remember because I'm stupid. Huh, I did not know that. Yeah, it's very interesting how... I don't think how I'm going to yell tell anymore. Interesting. <laughs> I don't think it was. Maybe, maybe I'll look up yell tell right now and see maybe. what it was. But in, interesting how Mother Nature just be fucking just doing things. Dude, things like are... Like making all... giraffes. Like, what the fuck? How, Nick, how, how does someone come up with a giraffe? It just happens. Yeah. Over it's, time. Giraffes are just like remnants of, of stegosaurus. It's like, how did you... How did you get from that to that? It's, it's crazy. Evolution is uh, fucking nuts, man. Don't you ever say that fucking word to me again this is a house of god nuts no evolution <laughs> evolution jesus well fucking darwinian to the we don't teach that here. creationist or is creationist the christian thing i don't know i don't remember what the fuck are you talking about i think i think the christians do creationism which is that god created everything i think that's i think that's what it is i'll put it up right here creationism very interesting i don't it's know one or the other is it yeah, because you know how the fucking Christians and the hardcore uh, religious people were like, God put those bones there to test you and, you know, that dumb bullshit to, you know, because, you know, we have fossil, because the, yeah, the we hardcore have, Christians believe that the earth has been around for 6,000 years, whatever the fuck. We have fossil records that say, no, r- idiot, you fucking R word. <laughs> we, we got what, fo- retard? Yeah. yeah <laughs> I'm okay. trying to, you know, it's still, it's still early in the, in the video. So we, we got fossil records that say, no, we have proof that just scientifically the earth has been around longer than that. And it's like, nah. But 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 our faith though, and it's like you can't. Yeah, you know, so, uh, ignorance is bliss. Some people say that, and that's 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 what a lot of religious people have going for them. They're just they're just so deep in their faith. They just don't they don't want to or feel the need to look for any other sources or look at anything else. And you're just like, you know, I, I have my faith, and that's it. And that's it's really sad. Yeah, I we've talked about it plenty of times Definitely. already before, and I hate it when you know, like you said, people get too like uh too uh absolved into this one to, um, thing ra- radicalized by yeah. whatever t- fucking faith or belief or whatever s- system they're following or preaching. right right of course I, it's just you know it's one of those things that's just gonna happen i'm just glad i'm not a part of it definitely i'm just i'm here on my side you know i'm yeah. chilling i'm here with all the non-believers <laughs> speaking of which i finished uh 1984 recently a couple oh. days ago it's pretty great you, you told me you, that was one of the few books you read in high it school. is one of the very few i don't read a lot did, did you read all of it i did read all of it did yeah. you comprehend all of it or were there points where you were just like <laughs> <laughs> looking at words in an order that well, was because i read it when i was like 16 what was it, sophomore 17 year? no i think i read it my uh that no, might be ju- I think I married my senior year. Actually, yeah, it's kind now of thing about it. It's kind of themes and shit. Then a little bit more. You know, why? I don't, I don't know what the fuck they're teaching kids in school these days. They're, I don't fucking. Know. As far as I know, they're teaching fucking nothing. That's what I learned. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> I learned some math. That's about it. Yeah, well, we French. learned a bit. I mean, two, three, four, five, six, blah, 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 croissant, uh, jambon, <laughs> <and> fromage. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <sighs> yeah, you fucking you you read it. Yeah, did, did, did you did you comprehend? Did you go? Th- you know. Do you remember a well, lot of it? I think from at that point in my time, my time when I'm in my life when I read it. Yeah, your time. Yeah, I, yeah. Shut the fuck. Your up. time on your time on's right, right, attached right, to mortal right, coil. Right, right, right. So that was about five, six years ago now. But the fact that uh, I understood what was going on for the most part about what they're talking about, like when it came to like that Big Brother thing and everything of like how so, you know, I. I understood from the fact what was happening for the most part, 
But like on the deeper meaning level of it, I think it, I don't think I really uh, understood or had a full grasp of it until yeah. like later in life. As I would <laughs> Are you ever gonna read it again? I can let I can let you borrow it and read it again. Yeah, maybe. I, do, mean, you, you might, you I have a copy. Oh, you do? I have my copy. Oh, sick. It's a, it's a very uh, small. It's like this. Oh, so it's big. thick. Yeah. Nice. It's like this. The cover is white. The cover is white and it has a uh, black lettering for 1984 and it's like a blue flower on it. I think. All right. Oh yeah, I got some. It's in yeah, my it's like in the, my yeah. box of books though, because nice. I don't have sh- I don't have space on my shelf to yeah. put my books in. Because I had like I wanted to put like my game. Oh yeah, cover oh, nerd what shit. I had. Fuck these yeah. books. This is garbage. I still have them. Look, <laughs> I've read that drawer, tucked away in a closet. No, somewhere. they're in Collecting my they're dust. in my closet. I, they're there. <laughs> they have uh, that book that I've read. Uh, one of the other books I've read surprisingly was a uh, uh, Angela's Ashes. This is a book. That was his, uh, book by Frank McCormick. Ooh. Oh, cool. He's written some bullshit. Yeah, it was a memoir of his life. Geisha? Huh? No, continue. What were you saying? <laughs> I said a geisha. That's a book. Memoirs of a geisha. Memoirs of a geisha. No, no. I was no, born no. on the windy shores of Okinawa. Nerd. That's how it starts. Anyways, I've not. Uh, I should. Maybe. Uh, anyways. Uh, <laughs> um. What was I gonna fuck? I fucking forgot. <laughs> yeah, Damn it! You lost my train of thought, Nick. Uh, fucking. Yeah, you read 1984. But the book cover. Another book that I read. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Frank McCormick's uh, Angela's oh. Ashes. And it was a memoir about his life uh, growing up with his drunk uh, Irish father and everything. Jeez. It was intense. It was, in- it was a good book. It I was fucking. In Ireland? Or uh, just yeah, in America? I believe so. Oh, okay. No, dude, it was. I think or maybe they were immigrants that came over here. I don't remember. But let me tell you, man, like, I remember, I, I vividly remember reading this book and just literally feeling sorry for this fucking guy. I was yeah, like, man, good, good books I, do that. I felt like shit. I was just like, Jesus. Yeah. And I, it's I remember based that on his life experience, apparently. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I remember, yeah, that, I remember that book very vividly when I read it at the time because I think I. I think I read that book like my summer leading into my junior year. I was one of those to read and write about or whatever. No. The fuck. Oh, you just read just Because I, uh, I had uh, well, uh, Grandma, one of our teachers, mm-hmm. uh, she would give a book to everybody at the end. Like, pick a book off the shelf. Oh, it was it. that and one. And that was oh, the one set. that I got. And I was just like, oh, I guess I'll read it since I got it. Yeah. Yeah, I felt like shit reading it. It was just very so- sad, but it, the writing's fucking beautiful. Yeah. Frank McCormick. It's just, oh, man. It's a good book. I've read that. Fun fact about that. I When we did that, I picked uh, the first Game of Thrones book. Oh, nice. Which is that. I saw it. It's great. I should reread all of them. They're they're good. They're good. They're good books. It's a good they're show. Good books, yeah. Well, it's a good show until a certain point. You haven't seen any of it. So you, you, we should watch that. We we should start. You come over. We should watch yeah, Game of Thrones. Well, you're basically asking me to watch softcore porn with you at that point. Yes, but. <laughs> Well, we're going to be, but, with, but there's a lot of there's a lot of really good like political intrigue and yeah, geopolitics look, and shit going it, on. But it's like, good. It's good. Yeah, it's good but, smut. It's good. I it's good smut. You see, you see Theon Greyjoy's dick a little bit, a little bit. Slow. Yeah, you see, he's back. He's back in Schmeet. He's got some Schmeet. That guy he's got a fat hog. The, yeah, man. The fucking the the, the man of the fucking Iron Islands. Suck it. It's it's salt. You, you know why it's that thick? Because it's salty. It's 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 been brined by the salty sea air of the Iron Islands. That's oh, why yeah. it's so thick and girthy. <sighs> I love. I love. I, I'm just imagining. Yeah. I'm, I'm. I'm relating this to <laughs> <laughs> to the super mega podcast and Ryan's talking about like Sea of Thieves and this bullshit. Whenever I go off on this dumb shit, not everyone knows. It's like he, he's like, I got the curse of fucking whatever, and you know. Oh <laughs> Jesus Christ! Shit. Damn, but yeah, Game of Thrones is pretty sick. We should watch it. We should watch. We should watch an episode. We should watch an episode of Game of Thrones and the Greasy Strangler. <laughs> That'll be a great a great pairing. It's like it's like a nice a nice a nice cheese and wine. Just... Yeah, you're ba- basically softcore porn. Hey man, it's <laughs> you get that too. Yeah, yeah kind of, kind of, sort of. Yes, but yes, <laughs> but it's but it's great. It's good smut. Like, it's, it's... <laughs> what what's smut even mean? Like just shit, like a different no, word for it's, shit. It's smut is just like uh like like raunchy, just like uh, kind of kind of sex books. Like, like oh no wonder like why 50 you know Shades it. of Gray is smut. You know. I read a passage I'm, from that like, book one time. The, uh, dr- 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 sm- but Smut, though, is, just, is more so just, like, more, like, dirtier and, like, less. Like, you could say Fifty Shades of Grey is, like, has some artistic value to it in the writing. Right. So, like, Smut would be, like, less than that. It's, like, more just, like, just, like, yeah, grimy yeah, yeah, and see. yeah. But yeah, that one girl. What was her name? Ava in high school? She, she for, her, like, her final, like, I think Graham, she talked about Fifty Shades of Grey. Like, what was that her name? She had glasses. 
she was she was, she was pretty hot uh <laughs> she, she she's part she's part of the 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 the, the imagery that defined my my attractiveness in women just that dark hair she glasses bleep. emo for oh, off and from our so we got to bleep the, these people's names too we can't have well, that's just first yeah. names who gives a fuck yeah all matter. right well. But yeah, so she, she was talking about Fifty Shades of Grey, and she is going through. I was like, okay, whatever. And she said, like, and in the other ones, and I out loud in class said, "There's more than one," because before that, I didn't know there was like four. Dude, yeah, there's a I lot. Was like, what the fuck? That's crazy. But I guess I, you know, you know damn well she was rubbing her pussy. I did. Hey man, but, uh, but, uh, more power to him. Crazy. I don't blame him because I read a random I ran I, I read a random page back to back from that book one time. Found it on the shelf. I was like, you know what? Let me see what this is about. Like, Let's see what all this this hubbub and hullabaloo is and about. I picked a random page. It was like I saw, like somewhere in the fifties, I think. And I was, I was just in the fifties, but page fifty. Yeah, by just, page fifty. Yeah, I just was reading During random, the setup. Yeah, I just I didn't wasn't gonna read it from the fucking beginning. I was like, I'm gonna read yeah, a random no, passage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, but still, that just goes to show. Like, even before, Jesus, how how big was it? Do you know how many pages it was? Oh, <laughs> no, it was like it was like it was like this thick. Oh, I think, so it was book. easily like at least two hundred pages. Yeah, most more. So than yeah, likely. fifty pages. That's the introduction still of the book. And it was the first one. It was high. Jeez, it was high. <laughs> In the first fifty pages. Nice. My God. It was hot. Jesus Christ! I people. blushed a little bit. I remember that. I was like, "Wow!" <laughs> In the right. library, you're like, you're, you're like, yeah, hide my you're like a little anime shit. girl. You're like, oh, <laughs> yeah, I had to fucking hide my fucking little erect fucking dick from everybody. You, 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 had, to go, you had to go read fucking 1984 to calm down. Yeah, a bit. To go read. You open to the wrong page in that book, and you're like, oh no. And it's fine because I just turned the page and came on that one instead. It's okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm classy like that. Back to 1984. It was. It's um. It's a good book. And, it's a very um, good book. It's a book a lot of people read in school. And that's that's the shitty thing about school is that uh, they require you to read books, and by doing that, they make reading shittier. Because no one, when you're already at fuck. Because it's breaking down from the top. You're already at school, which kind of, for the most part sucks. You're around uh, teachers who you may or may not like, and a lot of students who you, you like some of them, but a lot of them you probably don't like as well. You're just going through the fucking monotony to this fucking schedule, you know. And you get told you have to read these books. It doesn't matter if they're good books or not. But you're just told you have to read through this fucking thing right. that's a cage like 100, 200, 300 pages sometimes. And you're just like, fuck, man, I have all this other shit to do. And you're going to tell me to read and comprehend and keep all this in my mind for tests and shit later. It's just adding on shit, you know. And But 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 here's the thing. Uh, should young people read read those books? Yes. Should it be part of the school's curriculum to Absolutely have them read it? Absolutely not. D- uh, yes. It should be 100%. They should. Yeah. But it shouldn't be – Done in the current way it is, because it's it's just like it's like all right, class, we're, we're the next book we're reading. We're reading this book. You all have to read it. We have three weeks. We're gonna read through it. Do this. Blah 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 blah. Well, and it could be different now. You know, who knows? Exactly. I don't yeah. know how it is. We've been out of school, but it, yeah. I, I feel like it'd be much better if a teacher was able to be like, all right, so we're gonna read a book, but I'm gonna have like three books for you to choose from that are all kind of relating to the same type of themes, and you know, like you read fucking like Fahrenheit 451, 1984. Or uh, kill a mockingbird, whatever. No, 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 no. It, it'd be some other authoritarian or some uh, some other uh, treaties on fucking government or whatever the fuck that relates to those. Because you know, Lord of the Flies, maybe. Possibly, because you, you, you know, fair enough. Fourth one, it's like they're burning books. You can't have books. Right. Nineteen eighty four is a similar type of situation. That type of like uh, authoritative, like you know, like uh, fascist type of you know, right, right, uh, something right. of that nature. And by doing that, you'd allow. It's it's just like it's it's just like 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 anyone with fucking children like parents who tell their kids like you have to eat your vegetables or whatever that's how you build up resentment it's like no I don't want to do that but studies have shown that if you tell a kid it's like okay what would you rather have would you rather have peas or carrots it's still whatever but you're giving them a choice and it's it's, it's either way it's vegetables so it's the illusion of choice so you're making them think they have some more power in it that they do and that makes them more comfortable with it so they're more willing to do it so right you know, so by giving. Uh, students especially who are already fucking bombarded with other shit. It's like, oh, you can choose one of three these three books. I'll give you like you have the next like three days to look over the synopses, figure out which one you want. That gives them the ability to uh, have some sort of agency in their own learning and education about what they want to learn or are interested in. So you can be like, uh, this one's all right. This one doesn't appeal as much to me, but this one I, I'm more interested by this, and this one has captured me more. And that way they'll be more interested in it and want to figure out and go deeper into it. And then by virtue of doing that, you'll also have other people who choose the other books and shit. So then they'll also get to hear about the other ones as well, you know? So by, by doing that, you allow the kids to be in, more engaged in it and also 
somewhat learn more throughout the semester than you would beforehand, where they won't be learning as much about those books because it's secondhand from a different source, but you'll still be learning about it. And since you keep it down to a small size, multiple kids are going to pick the same books. They're going to have different views on it. So you'll learn about all this shit, you know? It's, that just seems like a... I'm a fucking retard, but that just, that seems like a pretty, 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 pretty uh, easy idea to comprehend in an act that would, you know, make things a lot easier. Yeah. Well, I mean, 100%. Because like you said, putting, because I always hated doing those summer projects. I always exactly, hated reading. You, it's like you have to do it. And they, those were somewhat more fun because those gave you the list. Those were like, okay, well, we can't, they, they gave you the list because they couldn't force you because you weren't in the school. It's like, oh, were you, well, that's why they did it. That was a last resort at that point because it's during the summer and you get to pick, you know? Right. Yeah, but continue. But yeah, no, I, I just, because you always have to do it. And I remember sometimes uh, some teachers would be like, no, nah, you don't have to do it. Sometimes others would be like, yeah, turn it in. Like, yeah. I'd be like, oh. And some teachers were cool. Like, apparently, Mar our friend Marjorie, she says, um, in one of their classes, they had to read The Hobbit. And, oh, wow. And J.R.R. Tolkien is notorious for writing passages, pages about, like, scenery and bullshit that doesn't really matter. It just provides a better mental image, but it doesn't matter. And her teacher was like, yeah, skip the this block of pages, this block of pages, this block of pages, because it didn't matter. And that was made a lot better, you know. Fair enough. Yeah, so that's good, too, like, allowing t teachers to be like, okay, this is what you need to know, you know, especially for, like, complicated or, like, more in-depth texts like that or 1984 where it's like, all right, you might be the, – the, 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 the social and political fucking subtleties and this might be over your head a little bit, so we're not going to focus too much on it, you know, just giving them – you know, making it a little bit easier on them. Yeah. Yeah. You should run for the school board, Nick. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I, she, I, you can be pretty convincing i think i think about that sometimes like i have but like i'm too like self-conscious drunk <laughs> i can't no no that's the thing i i, I don't feel, I feel like I, I could try but i wouldn't be taken seriously enough or believed enough to you know but, but maybe that's the thing you know but maybe but maybe <laughs> Because there's there's that principle like the philosopher's principle like uh, like um the the uh, the king should be the person who doesn't want to be king because no because the person who does want to be king wants to be king for a reason like they want power they want money or they want bitches right the person who doesn't want to be king they're not gonna be thinking about that shit they're gonna be they're if they are king they're gonna be thinking of ways to make their life as easy as fucking possible which means making people not hate them you know so they'll have to make good decisions that benefit them and their people so they can just fucking chill and not do that. So you're trying to be a king? I already am king. We're both kings. Oh God! Don't 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 talk to me like that. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, take that cup with you, you fucking bitch. That's who you look. Yes, queen. No, it's so fucking God. Ridiculous. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I I get it. Cool support, but come on. But you find a better word. Back to I have thought about that. Like, like, what if I ran for like like city council or something? What if I tried? You, fuck. I'm an adult. Like, I can. Like, I'm not. I don't know if there's. You have to be what 35 to run. For, I think it's 35 to run for president. Right. And like 25 or something for like 25 or somewhere around there for like uh. Like the house or the center or some bullshit. So around there, I think. And there's been like fucking news stories and shit. Like, oh, this 18 year old, he like ran for city. So it's fucking. I'm pretty sure I could. I'm what am I? 23. I'm 23. So I'm pretty sure I could fucking. No, you could figure. I could. It's, I could validly do it. Right. I'll, I'll, I'll pick it up on the street. And it's like vote for me. I won't fucking. You could, you know. should you should uh. Where uh, Speedo get some rollerblades on, go downtown, and say vote for me on your right, vote for me on your chest. That, that, could, that could be a very good tactic. I, could be very, yeah. I, I, I gotta work out a bit more for that. Show that you support the LGBTQ by not I, being I gotta, ashamed of your body I, and I, expressing I, it to all. No, I got, no, I gotta get better physique so I get all those gay votes. That's the point. Put a cucumber. And by in your virtue pants. of them, I'll have the LGBT, the majority of the LGBT uh, vote in here because that's basically most of what there is here. How's that edible? You feeling it? Yeah, I'm, I'm chilling. Sorry. Yeah, yeah I'm, but it was only it was only ten. So, oh yeah, but ten. That and then a cocktail right. on an empty stomach. That's. I had one chocolate donut. Yeah, that's and not coffee. I had coffee earlier. That's not breakfast. Coffee. Nick. I I coffee. I guess yeah. I I don't know, man. Do you? I don't fucking give a shit. I care though. Yeah. I care. <sighs> Yeah, ah, that was yeah. a good topic. To, that was a great way to talk yeah, about that, books that, and stuff. That, that was a good. That was a good chunk. That, I like that. I wrote down this morning. I was like, I want to talk about. I should write down something to talk about the podcast. And <laughs> I, I wrote down literally. I finished 1984. Schools make reading suck. Hey, that, that was, you figured it out. That. Caesar, do you ever? Uh, no. 
You ever go on? Did you ever just rant to yourself, dude? I have you so like, many you, times where I run into people and shit, and like they do something that I don't fucking like, and then when I leave or if I'm at work or something, and I leave it in my mind, or even during when they're out of sight, I go through a whole fucking conversation in my head. I'm like, of what I would have fucking said to you in that moment, but I'm, like, I'm holding myself back. Well, besides Can't. besides that, do you talk and have a conversation to yourself, or like have like? Because here's here's what I'll do. I I. Do you want me to give you an example of what I'm talking about? No, I think I know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. Like, where you're, like, you're, you're talking to yourself, like, like you're trying to express your ideas out to someone, but no one's around, but you, you're just saying it out loud, like yeah, you're talking yeah, yeah. to yourself. Like, like for example, I relate it to, I relate it to Reddit, which is... <laughs> That's con- different. Con- That's fucking no, no, different. No, 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 which is a constant source of inspiration for my, my, my rants. And my neuroses, <laughs> and, and, and <laughs> oh Jesus! So this like, is why it's so you have fucking this. Is, this is why you have an unhealthy <laughs> relationship to Reddit. You let these fucking no, no, things no, fucking no, no, corrupt no, no, your no, mind. No, and then... no, 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 no. No, so I'll see someone post something dumb on like. So here, here's a perfect example, right? Someone was so, <laughs> Jesus. No, I already know what it's going to be. You're just trying to prove them wrong. <laughs> That's all it is. No, 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 I'm, I'm right. No, 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 I'm, not, I'm not proving anyone wrong. I'm, 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 <laughs> you'll see. So someone said, they post on the Dark Souls 1 step. Right? They're like, all right. So I came, I started, my first two games in the Souls franchise were Elden Ring, the most recent one. Okay. And Sekiro, which is most recent before that. Cool. I said, okay, so next, I started Dark Souls 1. Okay. Would you, yeah, fine, totally. And he's like, be, and he, 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 the post had an air of annoyance and he, and just like general like uh, negativity. He was like, it's so slow and clunky and this and this and this and and then, and then that's when I go on my rant to myself out loud, which doesn't get a- angry, but I'm just like, well, here's the thing: you started with Elden Ring, which came out in 2022, which is the most advanced in the series so far because it's the most fucking recent one. Then you played Sekiro, which is the most fast-paced, hyper block, hyper attentive. You got to be super honed in and just know the combat. It's, you know, that's a lot fucking like rip fast and repetitive. Some of the Bloodborne is just like super fast and hyper intensive, right? You went from those two games to basically the first in the series. Yeah. So what do you? What kind of distance do you have where you do, you don't see the issue in your thinking here, where you're complaining that it's slower and clunkier? It came out. Basically, for intents and purposes, a decade before the other two. Ten years. So, That's a long time for of, so, significant so of course, differences. Of course it's going to be way slower and clunkier and not as, you know, responsive or have as many features or whatever the fuck. It, right. It's like, what do you why, – why, why, why are you – why are you putting on this air of just like in, 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 in incredulity or whatever incredibility where you're just like I can't it's just like it's it's so you know why 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 because they're just stupid that's all exactly. it is exactly it's like they don't they don't people don't realize people don't take the time to they'll take the time to think to to think a talk to think a thought right and put and that stutter. out there exactly just like that they'll take the time to do that or do these actions but they won't take the extra step to pull back and look at what they're doing and be like, why am I feeling this way? Or why does this make, or why is this the way it is? Why is it slower and clunkier? Could it be because it's from fucking when did Dark Souls 1 come out? 2011? Yeah. Was it, could it be because it came out in 2011 in like the middle of the Xbox 360 and PS3's fucking life cycle? Could that be the reason why it's slower and clunkier? Yes. Okay. Well that, you know, that makes it more manageable. So I just got to, you know, not adjust my mindset, but just keep that in mind and don't be so surprised or have this like negative attitude towards something that's completely obvious because in, in, in the end, it's their own fault. It's like you went from Elden no, Ring to, course, D- to right. Sekiro to Dark Souls. What the fuck did you expect? But but here's my thing, man. Like I, 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 when I would see stuff like that. Just don't care. No, I would acknowledge it like how you are saying exactly. Well, you're, you're right. Don't get me wrong. But the fact see? that – But the fact <laughs> – Here's the difference. The fact that you know that and you're like, okay, and then you tell me or maybe some of your friends, whoever, whatever, like in conversation, you know. But then you go ahead and then you comment on that thing and tell them like, well – here's like like you either say like here's why you're wrong and you don't ever like come up there but like i've gotten, better, I've gotten better at that i've gotten like, be- I'll, okay I'll all right yeah, well, whatever you, you he's like here's why you're wrong <laughs> but you should be like hey, maybe think a bit like this you know yeah, yeah, yeah. and then that would be a little bit of a so you just it's just like no it's wrong wrong you know and then you get into these fucking bullshit arguments with fucking <laughs> random ass people online until they stop and then you're just like yeah that's right bitch i own yeah, you I win. take my i win 
Yeah, you don't have to. The, the, everything else before that is fine, but you don't have to fucking <laughs> approach it like that. But so, some people are so. Some people are so. Some people, yeah, but it's like you crave. You, it's like you so crave dumb people's dumb. like fucking attention. It's no, like, it's because I want to correct them. Yeah, I, I, I want to because because that helps me. Narcissist. Yeah, because you're a narcissist. <laughs> So everyone's a little, a little I know, bit of a narcissist. Yeah, I'm a bit more like, than some people. I am but. too, but that's, you know, but. Because it, it does make me feel good. If I can correct someone's wrong ideology or thinking, you know, that makes me feel good. Well, like you should approach it in a better way. <laughs> exactly. You know, be like, hey, you know, instead of being aggressive, I'd be like, hey, maybe think of it like this, you know? You know, you, I don't know if I'm out, out of frame or not, but I keep leaning this way. You know, what I, you know what I thought about recently a couple days ago? What? What was that? <laughs> Remember that one time at Sean's house? <laughs> That guy, Leo. Oh yeah, <laughs> that 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 was an interesting. Character. I thought about that. That it, it's that that's that's what I mean. When some people have such like cognitive dissonance from reality, yeah, that it like sickens me to my core. No, that's have to be bad. like that was very bad. Some so everyone's entitled to their opinions, but if your opinion is wrong, I feel like it's my duty as a as a human being to tell you so. Well, no, but you just you can approach it. Sure, people but have in a wrong good opinions, way. and they should. Well, ooh, that looks pretty. And they should be. They should know that. They should know because they. Yeah, are, some people definitely need their to know. Wrong I understand that. opinions can can perpetuate in 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 fucking echoing fucking thought chambers on Reddit. No, no but that's right. You're not wrong. But I'm just saying the way you approach it has to be different. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta, gotta be, be. You said you've been working on it, but yeah. I don't know. Mark Aurelius, Stoicism. Got to be more. Don't let your emotions show. Be be calm and rational. Yeah, just breathe, relax. Don't attack <laughs> them. You know, be like, hey, just you know, think of it like this. You but know? let's set it, let's set, let's set let's set it up for the people. Oh, so, Jesus we're, Christ! We're All right, sitting. I'll pose the question. I'll pose the question. No, 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 nah. so, so, no, 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 no. We we gotta set the whole backstory. So we're sitting there, right? I, I, so I'll start from my point of view, right? This is because my point of view is interesting. Wait, from that one guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That so, one, okay, so, so, that guy. So I show up to Sean. Not to say yours isn't interesting, but mine especially because I have a <laughs> separate link that you don't have. You might have. I don't know. But well, so we'll see. Yeah. I show. I show up to Sean. Says so like, you want to hang out with me, a couple of Caesar, and maybe I keep having over here. Caesar's coming, and maybe a couple other friends or something, whatever. I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. You can show up. I go there. Yeah, I knock on the door. Sean's like, cool. I see this guy. His name is Leo, and I, I try to keep a smile, but in the back of my mind, I'm thinking. God fucking damn it. Because he's also in one of my classes at COD at the time. And from then, even in class, I was like, oh, this guy is a pretentious fuck and I hate him. Not him, but I just I just hate the, the way his, his personality. He, he yeah. thinks and the, the way those type of people think, just like that type of place. Like they're they're trying to be they're trying to be snarky and smart and smarmy and cringy, and it's awful. I hate it. We, I, I grew up. I was thirteen too. I know. I was, I was right there with you. Believe you me. I was right there. But you gotta, you gotta stop. <laughs> stop at some point. College is too late. If you're still doing it by college, you're too late. If you're still Dakota, you're too late. You gotta, you gotta, you can't. You just can't. It's not good for you. It's not good for. It's not good wow, for the planet. I'm throwing a lot of names out <laughs> this. All right. It's first names. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's too, but here's the point. So, so we show up. You, I don't think you met him before that, right? No. Which is why that's but, why. But instantly, well, from the <laughs> instantly. moment he was talking, I knew. I'm like, God, this guy. He was annoying, and I could tell that he was just full of himself. Wouldn't let anybody else talk. I'm like, God, this guy just really is a piece <sighs> of work. That's no. I knew that from the get go. It's not hard to tell with that guy. So I'm like, okay, I need to be inebriated. So we go outside to smoke. And he comes he out come. too. So I'm smoking. I probably brought some weed. So we're smoking some weed. I don't think I had my pen at the time. Maybe I don't know. We, I'm packing a bowl. Means he's probably gonna smoke. And this guy, he's like, I'm gonna, this guy pulls out a cigar. Because he's one of those people on top of everything else who wants to think they're mature and educated and put on this like air of and like I got a maturity. Story about that cigar and, too. Yeah, I, I'll probably I'll probably mention yeah. it. So he's one of those people. So you know, oh, and it's like you don't. Fuck, you're just trying to do this because you think it's fucking cool, you loser. You're like you're like a you're like a 14 year old smoking cigarettes. It's the equivalent of a college t- kid smoking cigars. Like what the fuck are you doing? Every everyone everyone's aware. You're not fooling every anyone. We know. We know exactly what you're thinking. Anyways, yeah. So we start smoking, <laughs> and then uh, 
<laughs> he, he offers you a hit because you're like, fuck it, because you kind of like. You I like cigars, you're like, yeah. Whatever, yeah. You're not pretentious. Oh, about it. You won't pull out a cigar to smoke at a party. No. No, but if someone If I had, had one, I mean, maybe if, I if, would. If you're, at, but... if you're at a place to smoke cigars or like whatever, you sure. know, if, if, if it's appropriate, you don't just pull out a fucking cigar unless, unless you're in a group of like your friends who all do it. Or you're like at like a cigar lounge we have kind of down here. There's, right. There's, there's appropriate times to pull out a cigar when you're. Just, I think you could put a lot pull it out at a party though with like your close friends if y'all just smoking. And there's and a lot shit. of people, and, and if you and if you know them, yeah, and, you know. But it's just on you know, and especially, but also like we said, just the way he acts, and it's like, yeah, the, you, you, you knew know, that, that was you know, a move you knew, you knew, even if he did like cigars, you that was just like you just. But yeah, he offered me just, a hit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's a hit, and I'm like, this motherfucker, dude. First, was he doesn't just smoking it properly? Smoke, no, <laughs> doesn't know, does know how to smoke a cigar. This motherfucker, he, he was got inhaling that it, I think, probably, He got that right? problem. Well, probably, because you're not supposed to inhale cigars huh. to smoke, but I don't know about that. But when, when you smoke a cigar, man, you're not, you know, even if you get one that's not cut yet, you cut it yourself. That's good. That's good. But the fact, like, if, if you're fucking chewing on that shit like it's a pretzel or something if as you smoke you're, it. If, if you're trying to be a cartoon character from the 90s with a cigar, yeah, if you're trying to be what's his uh in like codename kids next door like the dad or there's someone who had yeah. that if you're, if you're doing if you're, if you're doing this and you're you're trying you're trying to be this guy you're the cigar so you, you, yeah i'm gonna get a cigar that shit was by doing that you're just chewing on it you're being a fucking asshole that Especially cigar if you're gonna share was it. fucking was, was probably wetter than most of the girls he's ever been with that fucking shit was wet when you put it in your mouth to take a hit and i'm like nick you want a hit and then you're like all right and then hmm. I'm like, i don't like cigars <laughs> i don't like cigars cigars meaning this guy <laughs> Yeah, that was you. Know, but you're always gonna come across those fucking weirdos and shit. So after that, <sighs> yeah, there's a lot more. We can. Oh yeah, <laughs> we, we continue on, and we, we I guess because we, we're in the same class, we get to talking about our fucking teacher, who is also a f- major piece of work. Uh, f- she was she was she was a Latin X uh xx model exactly she was she was a latin x like i think literature teacher she taught like latin x like a probably literature and whatever okay fucking whatever not spanish latin x right so and i guess uh our, te- our teacher we were supposed to have for american literature didn't show up so we got this lady who didn't know the first thing about american literature because we were reading fucking government documents i'm like oh presidents and these fucking people in like the senate and shit whatever and it's like i mean I guess that's American literature by the literal definition of literature being shit written down on paper. But that class wasn't American literature. It was American early American civics and government. Because we were just going through fucking government documents and papers and these letters these fucking people like wrote to their fucking secretaries or their wife or whatever. But they were they were just like, you know, you know, there was American literature written. There were books written in that time. I don't think this lady understood that. There were actual books. Books, <laughs> books, yeah, right. literature you, written in this fucking time. In the, earlier in the year, we, we in the semester we read like Native American shit, and I was like, yes, yes, more of this. This is fucking literature. This is American. That's as American literature as you can fucking get. Right. Of but course. then, as soon as it's like as as soon as colonization happens, all president shit, Theodore Roosevelt, the fucking Washingtons, whatever. It's, I don't. I don't give a fuck about the dumb fucking news journal Theodore Roosevelt put out. Whatever that that, that would have been a, a fine footnote to add at some point, but don't make a whole fucking unit about going through that shit. You should also have us write annotations, like go through his text and write oh little God. notes. I wouldn't just t- pay uh, random spot. I just saw this fucking water. Random spot. Read the sentence. Annotate that sentence. Next page, so it looks like I actually read it. A little bit further down. Next, read it. But I wouldn't annotate those fucking things. She was, and we, we do it every fucking week. She was an idiot to think that anyone actually annotated it. This dumb cunt. So. We were probably talking about this class. At the, we were with this guy because we had that same teacher. Uh, <laughs> you going? Hard I think that, on I your think, I think, I think that's my comedy style. Just to start with one subject, rant. Back to the starting topic. You're, yeah, I mean, you're good at fucking ranting. I'll tell you that. Dude, when, I, when I'm when I'm passionate, I can go. So we're, so <sighs> so this, so we're probably talking about this dumb bitch teacher and her stupid fucking assignment. She can relate on. Yeah, this dumb bitch, right? And somehow we get to the topic of poetry. Haikus. And here's where the trouble starts. Always the haiku. Because this no, because this guy, <laughs> he has the thought, the opinion that poetry is not poetry unless it rhymes. Oh yeah, that was his biggest. If it thing. doesn't rhyme, it's not, not poetry. poetry. And as soon as those words. Uh, entered into my eardrum and registered with my neurons and passed through my brain and allowed them to completely form into a in, into a recognizable uh, thought. And you know, right? Uh, my immediate uh, bodily reaction was visceral disgust and 
uh, you know, uh, hatred. And I just, uh, cause that is just not true. Just patently. Yeah. It's that is just not true. Yeah, it's it's, not it's true. just, it's just it's, wrong. You can say, wrong. you can say poetry that rhymes is your favorite to say that any poetry that doesn't rhyme is not poetry is just wrong. Wrong. But he, he held. He, I, I, at that point, I just, when I'm in person, I know you, you, you right, don't. Of you course. don't fucking. You don't get in Reddit arguments in person unless you're a psychopath. Of course, right? Yeah. So I was just like, mm, I don't. You know, there's a lot of like, like haikus and shit. Those don't rhyme. There's a lot of like free form poetry. There's like there's poetry. There's poetry that's poetry because of the way it's written on paper. Like there's there's like poems where it's like it's the way the words are formatted it looks like a person. It looks like a Christmas right. tree. That's poetry because you know it, there's all sorts of types of fucking poetry. You dumb cocksucking motherfucker. I yeah, this was guy gay. was just. But but he held firm to that to that thought that wrong opinion, you know that you know, it's not poetry unless it rhymes. So I I had to be the bigger man and say, well we just agree to disagree and we left it at that. And I, I think I left. No, I didn't leave soon after because later on in the night, this fucking stupid idiot probably had like one. He probably had like one drink or That's... two drinks, one or two. And because he was inhaling the smoke from the cigar, he ended the night in the fucking bathroom, passed out. And we were like, "What a fucking fu- stupid loser!" Let's never talk to this guy again. Which I don't think Sean ever did. Well, no. I think he had a classroom too, like a theater. Yeah, probably a theater class. Sorry, he was a dumb, stupid fucking theater kid. Fucking theater kids, man. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with them. They have some. They have some specific type of tism in their fucking brain that well, just we're makes all, we're all little, you yes, know. but theater kids specifically, and it's yeah. not it's not even all of them, but <clears throat> certain types few, of theater like, kids, like like we'll, we'll believe this name. He is, he is. What was that? You will believe you. You know who I said. We'll do you know, you know him, right? Yeah, I've, yeah, I've heard some he stories, is, but he is capital T theater, capital K kid theater. Kid, but, but but remember, this was a long time ago. Yes, but so yeah, maybe some, people uh, probably. I pray, to, I pray to I pray to Allah every day that these people have grown out of this just egregious behavior and have better themselves and uh, humanity and uh, the entire totality of existence by doing so. And if not, I wish them only death and suffering. Well, is that fair? Is uh, that fair to say? Uh, t- yeah, sure. <sighs> That was a fun little story. <laughs> Man, I got to show off my ranting skills. It's crazy how when I when I rant, I'm very coherent, <laughs> very poignant. Probably because you always have these things in your fucking mind. <laughs> it's just boy- even when I'm not thinking about it, I'm just subconsciously like tum- it's, it's like a washing machine or or or, 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 or see now I'm stuttering <laughs> or a fucking or a, or a dryer just it's going around. You know, it's always there in the back of my mind. I really got to see a therapist. <laughs> yeah, me too. I think that is that is something I should do. Yeah, and you can do that with our promo code for better help. Use our <laughs> use our code get fucked leo. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No, man, it's uh man. Yeah, I mean when you get when you get deep into it, it happens, I understand. Some people are just so terrible. Yeah, there's a lot of people like I'll that. I'll quote the brilliant masterpiece of a game that is Deadly Premonition. Uh, sometimes you must purge things from this world that should not exist. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm, Here I'm, and there. I'm not saying I'm saying anyone should do it personally, but it would be nice. Some of these things just shouldn't be allowed to exist on the planet. They just shouldn't, just shouldn't exist. Fair enough. Fair enough. Ah oh, man. Uh, I need. To, oh, it's like a big. Let me give, give me breath, one second. You know, it's, it's good to get this shit off your chest. You know, even because it's never going to leave my brain. It's a permanent memory. It's fixated in there. It'll never of course, leave. Right. Of but course. it's good to you know occasionally just reminisce, get all the fucking hatred just pent up again, and then uh, release it, and then uh, yeah, it's like uh, it's like it's like new again. I'm ready to re- receive more hatred and angst. <laughs> Yeah, but we should probably bleep out those a lot of those. Oh yeah, names. well, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. We probably, yeah. probably should. Okay. We threw out a lot. Yeah, yeah, a couple of them. I'll leave. I'll leave. We leave our friends. Yeah. our name, our friends' names. Yeah, in there. I know who to bleep. Okay. Yeah, uh, let me find. How long have we been recording? Uh forty-five. We're all we're doing. Pretty we talked about school and books and this terrible interaction. Forty-five minutes, man. Yeah, it's been it's been something, all right. But See, hey, I'm I'm all down for the ride. Caesar, let's hear you rant about something what do you what are you passionate about to rant and jesus hate, uh, hate with a vigor similar to mine that's a you threw that r at the end of vigor pretty hard i'm, I'm uh, you know hard r's you know it's it's a white person specialty it's built into you yeah, it's yeah a, just in my dna I just yeah, can't help it's, it. you program that 
I'm no, programmed. But, uh, I don't know, way. man. Like I, I, I have things in my mind that I think about all the time, just like everybody else, but nothing that I would really rant about only when it comes to like maybe certain things that some people do, but I've been trying to, uh, uh, in my mind, when it comes to the things towards certain people, just let it go and just be like, ah, let well, it, why, go. it don't matter. Let yeah. it go. No, it, it's just to, just to let it go, you know, True. trying to just just trying to get over certain humps and stuff. Uh, I think yeah. about life yeah. a lot. I think about uh, writing. Don't we more. all? I think about writing a lot. Uh, don't we all think about writing and then we don't? No, we just well, think I've been about doing it. it more. I've been doing it more myself, nice. you know, uh, practicing, just doing. I don't know, just the regular things that I usually like to think about and that have on my mind. I don't really have rants. Unless something just pisses me off in the moment, then I'll just go for it. But I yeah. really, uh, I have a lot to complain about. But <laughs> don't no, we all? Nothing. Uh, nothing that warrants that, actual that, complaining. Exactly. Yeah, nothing that warrants actual complaining or the fact that I don't know exactly what I would say about it. So I'd have to think about it, you know? Yeah. But in the moment, if something just pisses me off the most, then yeah, definitely. It do be like that. Sometimes, sometimes, you know, life sometimes provides opportunities. And, you know, if you don't take them, at least you have, you still have the memory. And you can be like, man, what I would have done or would have said, you know. Because well, I yeah. do that too, like what you say, where it's like someone, you know, you have a discussion or something. And then an hour later, you'll be like, I should have fucking said this. And it's like, I would have fucking put them down, that motherfucker. Well, I mean, there's a lot of moments like that that you happen. But now, uh, as we keep going, we just keep, whenever it does come, you know, we'll do it, you know? <laughs> yeah, probably not. <laughs> probably just do, do the same thing again an hour later and be like, God damn it, I should have said that. Yeah, probably. Let's be honest. Yeah. I don't know. Interactions with people are always different and weird for me, I feel. When, especially when I meet someone for the first time, I always feel that I'm very awkward. <laughs> I'm always just really awkward. I don't know why. I feel. I think it's just because I'm too self-conscious, probably. Probably. I'm, 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 more, I'm more focused on them, and it, or in the sense I'm trying to be, like, normal. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, I'm just trying to be easygoing and, like, you know, passive. Yeah. Because they don't know how much of a fucking psychopath I am. Dude, yeah. <laughs> mean... <laughs> let, 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 them, let them get in before they really figure it out. And they can just feel it out by degrees. It's it's something, all right. I'll tell you that. <laughs> my for psych- me, too. My I'm psychosis? Crazy. Or... No, well, I mean, for, for me, personally. I'm like that, too. I get it. I'm not. I'm crazy. I should get the uh, the Joker. What is it? Do you, have, do you have disturbed somewhere? Me? No, Joker. The shitty Joker. Jared Leto. Yeah. Does he, he has, I don't fucking know. He bro- it's broken. He's broken, right? I don't know. It's disgusting. <laughs> I don't like it either way. Yeah, I, say, I should get that. Wasn't well, he get something like I heard recently that Jared Leto was doing something? Uh, so some role that he picked up, but it was sort of like this is gonna be fucking awful. But uh, I can't remember what it was. I fucking don't remember. I don't know. I don't know. It sounds kind of familiar, though. But you know what I'm talking? Yeah, know. maybe. If you, you've been keeping up with uh, the Kardashians, I always. Yeah. I follow Kim K, Courtney K, uh, Kylie K, all of them. On- <laughs> and all their separate Instagrams for their ass implants. Uh, well, I mean, I follow them, yeah, but I just like kind of high, even though they're disgusting, you know. <laughs> No, that one guy, the Flash. What's his name? He's, he's, the guy who got arrested. Yeah, he's going to prison for life for. Oh, for life is it? Well, I think it's for a while for sneaking Probably. into that, that that person's place and stealing their alcohol. Yeah, like kidnapping. <laughs> yeah, he's arrested for that. Meanwhile, he was like kidnapping people and like fucking holding people hostage. It's like, but no, but the stealing. It's like it's like how they got OJ. It's like he didn't kill those people. No, 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 no. But he definitely B and E'd and tried to steal his. Dude, bag you of know merch. what's fucking crazy to me? You know who's fucking going on tour? Who? Bill Cosby. Yeah, I heard that. Did Cosby's you fucking, you know, yeah, I'm just like, oh, I gotta go see it. I gotta go see it. Marjorie, would you go see Bill Cosby? Yep. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Yeah. I mean, it'd be crazy. It'd be crazy. Be just, to see what would, just to see what would happen. That'd be fucking great. Oh, nice. Are you sure? Are you sure? Oh, Jesus. Oh, we got hey. some more of those. <laughs> awesome. Are you sure, Caesar? Thank you. Uh, Ooh, I'll think about it. I'll think, think about, about it. Yeah, think about it right now. and Think about it in 10 seconds. Um, Not, yeah. Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. we'll, okay. We'll be right back. Pause. <laughs> We're back. We're back. Hello. Oh. Uh, sorry about that. I've just popped a nice Why, Werther's? Werther's original. It's nice old lady candy. You know, they always it's got them. It's good candy. It's good it, candy. It's pretty good. It ain't bad. Nice butterscotch. Um... I'm like the, I, I like the old school butterscotch that comes in the yellow uh, paper, the, the yellow plastic. Oh, yeah, yeah, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, get well, those. I, I like the, the stra- uh, strawberry bonbons, like the strawberry ones. You know, those are great. But delicious. I think it's time for some music recommendations. All right, I'll throw down some music recommendations. Do it. What I've been listening to a lot lately, Nirvana. 
I'm gonna bring it up. My, I think I brought. Not it up many before. people have. You, 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 you got to bring it forward into the public eye. No, people have. I'm just saying. I don't know if this is the first time I've mentioned them or not. But uh, I'm gonna talk. Uh, my recommendation can be Nirvana. Been listening to a lot of In Utero, the album, and uh, then I listened to the one with the baby, the naked baby. I, for some reason, it's not smells like Teen Spirit. I some, call it something else. It's I'm positive. This. Whatever this is. And then the uh, MTV Unplugged, uh, their acoustic performance, the 1993. All right. It's fucking great. Not bad. Some good shit. Good old, good old, good old 90s grunge rock. You know, can't go Hell wrong with yeah. it. Yeah. Rest in peace. I'm gonna, 27 Club. Oh, yeah. Him and um, Jimmy I was Hendrix. To my, my grandma was watching a thing on the Beatles Ow. the other night. The, the original, um, I think he was a drummer or something. He died when he was 27 as well. He fucking drowned in this pool when he was fucking ODing on drugs because they kicked him out of the band because he was doing a lot of drugs. Yeah, because he was a druggie. Yeah. yeah. I forget his name. It was something. Who knows? Who cares? Damn, what a fucking... How he must have felt like when they fucking blew up. He's like, fuck! <laughs> no, it was Rolling Stones, I think. It wasn't the Beatles. It was Rolling Stones, I think. Yeah, yeah it was one of their guitar players. Yeah. He was like, real drunk. Uh-huh. And then it... He was a blonde how, guy. I forget his name. But imagine how that must have felt, dude. Like, Pretty shit. Pretty shitty. Probably pretty shitty. It's like the guy from Weezer too, from their uh, first album and shit. Wow. They had there was a, a guy on there before they had, uh, before they had, because uh, you see the four guys on the cover. One of those the guys, blue one? The yeah, blue, on yeah. blue on an album. One of those guys wasn't originally supposed to be there, and he was like a last minute call that came in to take this guy's place. All right. This guy, you know the my song, my name is Jonas. Yeah. The guitar line. That was written. That guitar line was written by the guitarist before they got the Brian Bell. Ooh. So then some of his, you can hear uh, his vo- his background vocals on some of the songs in the deluxe edition of that album. So he has he got royalties and some stuff from that. But imagine you know he was just wasn't cutting in. So Rivers Cuomo was just like you, you can't like you got to choose between. I think he was having problems with his wife or something. Mm. And so like you know. Damn. Shit sucks. Crazy. Yep. Yeah. Music is a hard gig, hard business. But uh, I'm gonna recommend. Uh, Gal Costa, Lost in Paradise. It's nice, you know, nice groo- groovy little tune, you know, nice, nice to vibe out to, smoke a little bit. You play it on repeat like three or four times and just get really, really high. It's a good time. We played it right before we came back. Yeah, did, yeah. Did you, did you like it, Caesar? I loved it. It's a very nice great. song. Yeah, a, lot, a lot of other shit's pretty very good. Very noir. I think, at... she, I think she sings also in like Portuguese or Spanish or something. Probably Portuguese. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy how I get. I don't even get pushed a lot of Portuguese shit. It's what Raymond listens to because it's that a uh, girl from Ipanema. This guy uh, Sue George, which is um, Gilberto too. Yeah, Gilberto. This guy Sue George. He's on. He's in this movie. Um, at the Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou, which is uh, it's a pretty pretty good comedic movie. He's in it. He plays guitar in it too. He, he's 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 part of the soundtrack. A lot of it, him just doing covers of uh, David Bowie and shit and some other shit. It's pretty. He's great. Uh, um. Was it Portuguese? Is a very, very interesting, interesting and fun language. It's, it's French and Spanish just merged together with some other yep. sort of influences. It's fun. It's weird. It's very beautiful. Yeah, it's very good. Well, guys, thanks for checking out this episode of Vibin' today. What's we're gonna cut it? Yeah, we, we, we hope you have, a, you have a you have a fun you have a fun time and um, a fun rest of your day. And we we hope you enjoyed this episode. Yeah, I, I sure as hell enjoyed it. I'm baked as hell. Yeah, man. I think I'm gonna. No, I think um, I gotta get out of here. What, Nick? What do I do? All right, I guess I'll get back to sweeping. It's time to clean up.